it's been now a year since I gave evidence in his trial and that was hard that was really really difficult um, I felt very alone and especially in the cross-examination where you're made to feel like it was your fault they play on your own doubt um, and make you question did I bring it on myself did I do anything to encourage this um, was it my own fault so those are questions that had been bubbling away even when all this started when I had friends and family challenge me and say is that stalking now is it harassment um, and even at challenged me saying that I was wasting police time by going to them with all this so it was a difficult difficult time um, and that's why I've not spoken about it since the trial a year ago because it did take it out of me I was a mess for a long time um, and I just tried to draw a line under it and move on that's all I wanted to do I didn't want to be here now talking about Alex Belfield but unfortunately he did continue to post videos about me and they are now still live on his website making him money um, and obviously with the outcome of Jeremy Vine's civil case and he got his apology and his acknowledgement and damages and I still haven't and it's difficult to kind of reconcile and process that because you want vindication you want people to believe your side of the story and at the moment people are still defending Alex Belfield um, and it makes it hard it makes it incredibly hard to kind of forgive him if he won't even acknowledge or accept any responsibility um, I do want to be able to just forget about it and move on but I can't while those videos are still on his website and while he still maintains that he doesn't he didn't do anything wrong and that people will still believe that he didn't do anything wrong until he admits it if you can help I'm raising money through crowd justice to cover my legal fees Thank you.